Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to be talking about program design. This program comes to us from Michael Caesar. Cesar? Caesar? Probably Caesar. I like to say Cesar, but I like to mispronounce words. It's kind of my favorite thing to do because the origin of language is fascinating. Starting on Sunday, active recovery, single arm club, inside pendulum, outside pendulum, and pullover. Very cool. Monday, one hand swings light, 24K, clean and press, 26K, heavy, reverse Turkish get up, heavy, goblet squat light. Wednesday, single arm heavy club, so Sunday was light club. Inside circle, outside circle, it didn't have a third thing on there, so I don't know if there's a shield cast in there, maybe that's a misprint. Thursday, one hand swing heavy, reverse Turkish get up, light. Friday, bottoms up, goblet squat, heavy, clean and press light. This is a great program design. What we have here is we have everything we need. We have single arm club. He's running two different levels. So higher complexity, inside pendulum, outside pendulum pullover with the lightweight. On Wednesday, single arm club heavy, inside circle, outside circle. So we had numbers on this one was 20 pounds, nine sets of five and five, and then he is progressing this. I'll talk about that in a minute. Monday, heavy swings, Thursday, heavy swings. Clean and press heavy, Friday, clean and press light. So I like this. This is Monday with swing, clean and press, and then our Tuesday is our TGU and squat, and then they cross. This was something we talked about in a previous nerd math video. You don't have to line the same things up on the exact same days. By doing this, you automatically build in what you might consider muscle confusion without actually doing muscle confusion. All of these things can still progress on their own math and by assembling them, the different Lego blocks, the different Tetris blocks on different days, you get an overall total different effect on that day. So I really like this. Our reverse Turkish get up heavy, we have four minutes at 28K. We'll talk about how he's progressing this at the end because I need to read it. And our goblet squat light, 20K, 16 sets of 10. That's a lot of squats. Uh, I appreciate this highly. I used to do this before I ripped my leg in half. I now do a lower number of squats, usually at a heavier weight. But when you're working on developing your squats and your work capacity, this is an awesome way to do it. Just here, there's 160 squats. He says he's taking one to two minutes between sets. This is what concerns me right here. One to two minutes between sets instead of holding a constant rest period. That's not a big deal. It just makes it harder to predict time. I would just pick one or the other and try to stick to it myself. Uh, that's usually how I push clients. If it's a heavy weight, we'll do two minute breaks in between sets, especially for a large number like 10. And one minute, if you're doing like say sets of five. Goblet squats at sets of five should take you 15 seconds. It would give you a 45 second break. With 10 goblet squats though, you're gonna be pushing super fast. Fast would be 20 seconds, but I wouldn't believe that you had good fixation at that speed. At three seconds per rep, I assume that this takes 30 seconds. So, or I would do this as an every two minute on the two minute so that it would be time controlled. At 16 sets, it would take 32 minutes. At 10 reps, it would take 30 seconds to do the 10 and you would get a 90 second break. That would be how I would do it, but that's why we're talking about this. So we can see how everybody else is doing it. On Wednesday, we have our single arm heavy club day, inside circle, outside circle. 20. I looked at the notes and so this act, this active recovery day is 10 pounds. Um, so 20 pounds. That's a good amount of work. On these, it's he has written one to two minutes between sets. I take that to mean that he's doing outside pendulum, total numbers, and then one to two minutes before he does inside pendulum, then one to two minutes before pullover. The same thing on this heavy club day inside circle do all the sets and then one to two minutes before outside circle that's how i understand it but normally if i'm writing inside circle and i say 20 sets of nine by five left five right i would write 
continuous. C-O-N-T is an abbreviation at the end of it, just to let everybody know that that's not being set down there. Our Thursday, our swing heavy, 26. So he is starting his math over with this 26 at four sets of five and five, and he'll add sets to that over time and volume cycle. And his reverse Turkish get up light, time under tension with a 26K. Turkish get up heavy, 28K. Turkish get up light, 26K. That's fine. As long as they're not the same way and you have a heavy light, then that'll work out. I would put this time under tension, this is four minutes. I would put this at maybe five minutes. I usually like to have a little bit more of a jump between my heavy and light days. I usually like 4K because that's 8.8 .8 pounds. That's a substantial difference, but I don't always do that. Sometimes I will go 27, K, 28K, 29K, as long as it's a little bit different, then it has a different neurological effect on the drivers. Friday, we have our bottoms up goblet squat. So here it said goblet squat light. Here it said bottoms up goblet squat. So I think what he might be doing is goblet squat with the handle high for the light and bottoms up goblet squat the way that I like to do it with 90 degree arms. For the heavy day, 22 by six sets of 10. On his squats, he really likes sets of 10. And once again, he wrote one to two minutes in between sets. Same note that I had up here. I would make that every two minutes on two minutes and give yourself a 90 second break or so. And with his goblet squat light, he's using a 20. With his goblet squat heavy, he's using a 22. So once again, he has a 2K jump between heavy and light day. But the volume is very different. This was 16 sets of 10. This is six sets of 10. That's 160 reps. That's 60 reps. I like that big disparity in reps between our light day and our heavy day, even if the math isn't perfect, 20K to 22K, this is substantially less work than this is, which is what we're looking for on our heavy light days. Saturday, it says recovery. I like that. Uh, in the notes, he put that he is using an 8X club. Let me see how much of the notes I actually have here. Saturday recovery, use an 8X adjustable heavy club, increase 2.5 pounds once he gets to 10 sets of five left, five right for any given exercise. What he's doing is a half volume cycle or a half century volume. So he's building up towards 10 sets of five and five, that's 50 reps on each side total. That's good. That is what we would call the accelerated path through single arm club. That allows you to go up in weights, but just focus on the pure basics. This works really great if you have to give people abs, arms, and glutes really fast. I use this method for movie training a lot, where you will stick to the basics, inside circle, outside circle. I would have shield cast here. I'm not sure why it's not here. And then outside pendulum, inside pendulum, pullover. This is light, 10 pounds. This is heavy, 20 pounds, so that's doubles. Obviously, he's very comfortable with inside circles and outside circles, and less comfortable with outside pendulums, inside pendulums. Doesn't bother me. The math is all going to keep working. All these Tetris blocks are going to keep moving around and it's definitely going to work over time. The jumping kettlebell weight is 2K. For the reverse Turkish getups, doing volume cycle time under tension starting at four minutes and adding one minute per workout until he gets to 10 minutes. And then I've cut off the rest of the notes somehow. Uh, so, Michael Caesar, this is a great program. We have our heavy light cycling, our swings, our clean and press, our squats, our Turkish getups press, total body press, deadlift pattern, squat pattern, single arm club, outside hip snap, inside hip snap, pullover or casting pattern, inside circle, outside circle, jab pattern, cross pattern. This is a fantastic general physical preparedness program. The clubs aren't super heavy, that's fine. These kettlebells, anything above 24K, I consider to be getting into the heavy range for your average individual. For professional athletes or whatever, we would probably push above that into the 32K range, but most people are gonna be fine in this range. I really like 28K because it's not savagely heavy like a 32 is. It's very manageable. And then goblet squats have these nice lighter weights to it because these numbers are high. Get, you know, doing sets of 10 is no joke, especially doing 16 sets of 10. In his notes, it says that he's doing neck and shoulder for warm up, 10 minute warm up, and then he's doing a 12 minute cool down. I don't have the details on that, but I assume based on this, whatever he's doing is pretty correct. Excellent job, Michael.